Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating why the area of a sector is half multiplied by r squared multiplied by theta. Okay? Now the area of this sector has been shaded in grey. Okay? What we've also got to acknowledge is that the area of this sector is proportional to the angle theta. What I mean is that the larger this angle becomes, the greater the area of this sector becomes. Now since A is proportional to theta, A, which is the area of the sector, is going to be equal to K1, which is a constant of proportionality, times theta. Okay? Now, the area of this sector is also going to be equal to a constant, we'll call it k2, multiplied by pi r squared. Okay? Because the area of a circle is pi r squared. Since this area of a sector is probably going to be smaller than the area, area of the circle, what we've got here is the area of the sector is equal to k2 multiplied by pi r squared. Okay? Now, these two formulas over here are going to be equivalent to one another. This means that k1 multiplied by theta is going to be equal to k2 multiplied by pi r squared. Okay? Now it turns out when theta is equal to pi, which is actually 180 degrees, so when this angle is 180 degrees, okay, k2 is going to be equal to a half. Right? Because the area of this sector, when this angle is 180 degrees, or pi radians, is going to be half multiplied by pi r squared, which is half the area of a full circle. Okay? So we know that when theta is equal to pi, k2 is going to be equal to half. We can see this over here the area of this sector would become half times pi r squared, okay? Now if this is the case, and we plug pi into this value over here, and half into k2 over here, what we are going to get is k1 multiplied by pi is going to be equal to half times pi r squared, okay? Now watch what happens when I multiply both sides of this equation by 1 over pi. This pi is going to cancel out this pi, and this pi is going to cancel out this pi. And what we get is k1 is equal to half multiplied by r squared. Now if k1 is equal to half multiplied by r squared, and the area of the sector is equal to k1 multiplied by theta, this means that the area of the sector has to be half multiplied by r squared multiplied by theta, okay? And this is the formula for the area of a sector. So we've proven that the area of a sector is half multiplied by r squared multiplied by theta. If you have any questions related to this video, please leave your comments below. Thank you very much for watching.